Five Arto with Navar Al Hassan. You could call him Captain Clutch too. Six free throws. You hit the big three that puts you guys back on top. But let's just talk about the course of the game. You were really consistent shooting it tonight, and you seemed really confident yeah. going into tonight. Just talk to me about your focus level and when did your focus start for this game? Did you start this morning or yeah, uh, when, when did the focus start for right, you? Right after our last regular season game, we knew that this, this is what we've been working for all season. We knew we missed out on a league title that we could have gotten, but we know that there's still bigger things that we can get, a district championship, and we knew it started tonight, and this was the only game that, that was on our mind. So heading in after that regular season game, we lost our last regular season game, but we were focused right away on this game, so I've been locked in since. This is one of those games that I feel like is a perfect test to come out of the gates. You, you're up, you're down, you exchange a lead a couple times with the team. Yeah. Talk to me about just being that senior leader. You've been here, you've done this before. What your mentality kind of needs to be when you're going through a course of a game like that and just kind of, I guess, staying even throughout the course of a ball game. Yeah, I mean, I just try to stay calm. And if, I know if I'm calm, they'll follow my lead. So, I mean, as long as I'm not getting out of control, I'm letting our players know, like, we're okay. As long as we stay uh, solid on the defensive end, follow my lead. I try to lead them to stay calm, keep their energies up. I, th I think we'll be fine. So regardless if we go down or if we're up, we just got to kind of stay stay consistent with our energy. You hit that big three, too. I'm just curious. Was the three uh, a flow of the game, or was that a decision made up in your mind uh, for the I, inbound? When I caught it, I mean, I knew I had space, and we were down, so I was like, I, I got to take it. My shots, been, I know I missed a few shots. My shot felt good all night, so I, I had to let it fly, and it went in. It seemed like every time you were nailing threes in the fourth, Kirkland Miller, number two yeah, across the way, answer. he was, he was yeah, finding he those answers, that. too. Talk to me when you have someone that's going off like that. What, what kind of that mentality is like? What is coach telling you when you have someone of Kirtland Miller stature that's getting yeah. those buckets from everywhere on the floor? Yeah, I mean, like, like throughout the game, we're still as we're just trying to lock in on defense, rotate. I mean, it's a team sport, we know. So I mean, if we can if we can rotate, cut guys off, and just continue to play solid defense, we know we're going to be okay. So I mean. It, one guy can't beat us if we can force other guys to hit some shots. But, I mean, he did a great job knocking down shots and keeping them in the game. How big was Drew Flarida for you guys and those off-ball screens and yeah. just creating space for you offensively? Yeah, he's always, he's always doing that for us. Some some It might not go in the stat book, but he's doing the things that, that guys don't see or don't pay attention to. Those offensive rebounds, those hustle stats, him and Ryan Wise both, they, they both grabbed those huge rebounds for us to, to get it to get me the ball and shoot free throws, to get Anthony the ball and shoot free throws. It's huge. I, I mean, that, that's what they do for us, and we love it. Final question for you, Navar. We already talked about Newton Falls. We know what you guys are preparing for, so I won't be redundant and ask that question. But instead, you've been one of the heart and souls for this team. I talked to Anthony about it. Senior night for you guys, basically another senior night. You knew this was going to be your last game in front of the home crowd. How much does it mean to you to get a win in your last home game here and kind of just leave a message to the Waterloo faithful who've been there and supported you yeah, all these years? I, I mean, it was huge. I mean, throughout the game, I was even thinking, I was like, I mean, I don't want, we, we all obviously, no one wants to end on a loss on your home floor. And we're, we're seniors. We talked about it before the game. We're leaving everything out on the floor for us. And, and as fans, we know that they, they need, they love that when we're getting wins for them. And that'll bring more fans too if they're hearing us going into a sectional final or a district final, semifinal. So, I mean, we love that energy. Sectional final is up next, and you're going to Newton Falls. Yeah. As you can catch the Vikings, number 13 seeded against number 7 seeded Newton Falls on Friday. Yep.